In our case, the biggest drive was health and safety of our employees. As you know, employees are not built to work 24-7. Us as humans are not built to work 24-7. So we decided we have to do something different to make sure that when people work shifts, they can go home safely. And we believe the predictive side of the fatigue management would bring us a lot of benefits. When the symptoms of fatigue, fatigue actually surface, then it's too late. So, so therefore we opted for a more predictive thing that you can actually act in future. That is what we decided on that stage. I believe in um, prevention is better than cure. So um, that means PRISM provides managers with real-time monitoring of the workforce, um, fatigue risk, and it allows the employees to self-manage their, their fatigue, and it provides also the supervisors with a tool to intervene in um, high fatigue risk um, employees. I would say it's important that people realize that um, the mindset of it, it's never gonna happen to me needs to be changed. Uh, and it's very difficult to do that. But I think by uh, getting people to used to this system where they actually predict that it might happen, they started realizing there are signs and symptoms that I can look out for and that I should be aware of. Uh, so it was difficult, but I think in the end, people actually got to the point where they realized this is very important. I think the nature of people is to react on history. You know, they work on basically what happened yesterday, and then they do some firefighting to correct actions. We buy the predictive act approach with basically command that they basically do planning, scheduling, and looking in advance, you know, and using this as a leading indicator to advance our safety performance. The people don't understand the value of the system at first. We had to make sure that we find some what we call change agents, get them on board and make sure they understand and believe in the technology. And as soon as they started believing the technology, they could tell their family and mates how this has helped them. But most importantly, afterwards, we had to also use the champion which we had on site to make sure that you keep on pushing the message so that people don't forget what it's all about and you have somebody that constantly reminds people of the advantages and what can be done or what are the advantages. Initially, people thought that uh, this is just a new way of doing things, but gradually, as we got used to the fact that we are actually warned and that we have certain counter countermeasures that we can follow, people started realizing, but this is valuable, it works for us. Um, firstly, you must get management buy-in. So management buy-in and the leaders must walk in front. So firstly that, and then sec secondly, your, the training to the people, so the people must be well informed. And then thirdly, I would say the hardware and the software part of it. So it's very important if you implement a system that everything works as you promise. The key thing in this is actually educate the people about fatigue and how does it work and how does it influence them. They have prevented a lot of injuries and then they have also encouraged their employees on healthy living style. In my mind, I can see PRISM as the watchdog or the conscience behind the scenes working 24 seven to make sure that if somebody's status changes, those people are alerted. I think we directly add value to our contribution in our safety improvement performance. We live the predictive safety methodology, we include it into our daily actions, into our shift patterns, into our scheduling of our work, urgent ad hoc work, and we basically apply it onto our daily actions, how we are undermined. We were preventing a lot of serious incidents and accidents that might be uh, fatal for the mine's performance. Management gets regular feedback in terms of the risks and in terms of fatigue levels in different areas. The other benefit on the system is, remember there's now interaction between myself and the individual, which, which, which didn't happen in the past. So um, I think the employees also um, appreciate the fact that uh, although you, you've been flagged via SMS or a, a email, that I now um, talk to him directly. Um, to, to intervene to manage his fatigue. So it has that benefit as well. 
The future of PRISM, in my mind, is bright because as soon as managers and leaders grasp this, they will realize that there's huge potential, not only in health and safety, but also in productivity. And from that, I believe more specialized solutions will come to fit, whether it's mining or management or, for, or manufacturing, whatever industry, and they will latch onto it and they'll see there's huge productivity advantages. I would like to see that because of the plethora of smartphones, that the guys can actually disposition on their smartphones and then tie into a main database uh, that way, so that you don't have to leave your workplace to disposition, that you can physically disposition and do all your tests and countermeasures uh, as far as practicable in the field. There is definitely a benefit for, for me. Prism has helped me personally very much. I definitely benefited from that. You are more alert to the signs. On a personal level, being an engineer in South Africa, you work long hours. And, and, and later on, as the years go by, you, you don't really realize it anymore. So for sure, the, the PRISM system um, um, flagged something in my head. Sometimes when you went off, it will remind you on the countermeasures that one have to take. Like you have to sleep, you have to drink water, you have to rest. So you know exactly when you knocked off that your level of fatigue is, is standing in which level? Is it high? Is it significant? Is it critical? And what countermeasures do you have to take? Often I'm working long hours and then the system would advise me with a lot of SMSs and then I receive SMSs from my boss and say, are you okay? So he alerts and sensitizes me after, after a long day and a tough week when I'm driving home. That message coming through that basically says to me, listen, you're exceeding your hours, all you need to take steps to manage your fatigue is invaluable.